Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is a jewelry challenge hosted by Pirate Pretties called Pirate Pretties Jewelry Challenge. So each month we're given a um, group of challenges. One she wants us to do for sure and since it's September and the challenge is all about birthstones we are working with sapphire and the options we have is to either use silver or gunmetal to make stack bracelets and i love the theme steampunk so i do not have sapphire but i have these really pretty crystals that i think i want to use they're not quite a sapphire color but close enough Aren't they pretty? They're these coin beads. I believe they came from a bargain bead box. So I thought they would be perfect um, with the steampunk look. Now, for those of you who don't know what steampunk is, basically the way I would explain it is industrial feminine. So we're talking nuts and bolts, stuff like that, and then bringing in the lace maybe some black lace, which I was trying to figure out how to use this, but I, I don't think we're going to use it, but I'll just put it here as a display because a lot of steampunk, steampunk, <laughs> steampunk has lace in it. I do have this uh, washer that I found. It was with this uh, bolt or this nut and this Pretty. I think it's, it's really ornate. And I thought this would be perfect to use in a bracelet. And this was kind of rusted, which is good. I like the rusty look. But I wanted it a little bit more than just what it was on there. So I, I tried to beat it up. <laughs> and I painted it. And then I just glued these little um, filigree discs on either side. And other things I'm going to use are some pearls. These are just glass pearls. And these links also came from a bargain bead box a while back. And so did these little uh, filigree floral thingies. And I just glued them on there because it was plain on the other side. So that way when it flips, it looks good on either side. And I've got some coconut beads. And then I think I'm going to use this little flying pig. And um, back in my cruise days, we used to collect all these little charms. And I might use this clock. So for my first piece, I cut about three feet of this hemp. It's navy blue. And I think I'm going to use this washer like I do buttons for closure. I'm going to take the two ends, and stick it in a hole. Make sure they're even. And just pull it through. And then I'm going to do an overhand knot. And I had thought about using a button. You could do that. But I'm not. <laughs> All right, once I got my overhand knot done, then we're going to start beading. And I don't know what, what I'm going to start with. I do know I want to use the crystals and the pearls and the coconut beads. Probably want to flank the pearls with the coconut beads. Maybe we'll do that first. I'm 
I'm going to put three beads on here and they're going to act as one bead, kind of like a station there. And then I'll do an overhand knot. Just feed that knot down there close to the beads. And let's see, I guess I'll do a crystal. Do another overhand knot. And I think I'll just continue this pattern on down until I get to the desired length. So let me show you what I have so far. This is going to hang down almost like a, a charm. It's not going to do like the button does, but I think I like it. So the next thing I'm going to do, I want to make some type of something here. I may just um, do like a fringe, like unravel these and make little tassels, or I may hang beads. So I have it all complete. I went ahead and I've got these little brass... Um, filigree beads and some little tiny glass pearls and the coconut shells that I just added there. And here is bracelet number one. For bracelet number two, we're going to use this nut here. Some coconut beads, glass pearls, and then I have some of the wax cording I use on my waterproof bracelets. I cut two pieces 12 inches long each. So I'm going to meet the ends like this. And I want to make sure that I do this the same on both sides. So I'm going to feed it up through the middle and pull. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If you don't do it the same, then they don't look the same. They will look different. Okay, so then the next thing I want to do, I'm trying to design this in my brain as we go, is I was going to try to put both of these in, but I don't think they're going to fit in that hole. I'm going to have to only do one at a time. So... I am going to tie an overhand knot just because I don't I don't want these slipping around out. And these knots kind of act as a bead also. And then what I'm going to do is I'll put a coconut shell, a glass pearl, another coconut shell, and then an overhand knot. So the next thing I did as I'm adding another bead and tying another knot on the other side here. I know exactly what I want to do now. As I was tying the knots, I'm like, oh, I know what I want to do. <laughs> Feed that all the way down as far as I can get it. All right. So it's going to lay on my arm 
and you can lay you can put it any way you want but this it could be this way or this way but I'm gonna have it this way so the next thing I'm going to do these are going to be ends that are going to kind of be frayy like little tassels here and so I need some more of my wax cording and I'm just going to feed it through here if I can get it through there I'm going to have to go get my little tiny crochet hook. Those things come in really handy. I had a smaller one than this, but this will work. You just put it through there, and then you can grab your cord and pull it through. These things come in handy for more things than just crocheting. All right, so once you've got that on there, you need to determine how much you need for your bracelet. And I'm going to cut, I don't know how much this is, but this much. <laughs> it's probably more than I need. And I'm going to cut, uh, I'm going to measure this. So it was another, well, about 11 and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it. And I'll make sure I've got these even. They don't have to be perfectly even, but they need to be pretty close. And then I'm going to tie it again. So I have a pretty substantial knot there. Okay. That's going to work. So I need another piece. And do the same thing. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and do another overhand knot here, just so they will lay more as one. And then I'm just going to take these and twist them. When I hold them up, they spin together. Tie a knot on the end here. And then I'm going to take um, like a lighting stick and burn the ends of these right here so they don't come unraveled. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I have both ends done here. I just need to burn the ends. But this right here, um, I, I want to fray the ends. So basically I'm just going to, whoops, I'm going to unwind them. And then I'm going to take my little bead reamer or you can take um, a pin, safety pin, straight pin, whatever, and just start splitting the fibers and combing them out and then you get the effect of a tassel so let me work on this 
and work on finishing this bracelet and I'll come back and show you what it looks like all complete. All right, I have it all finished. I love the way it turned out. Here's those little tassels. We've got coconut beads and pearls. A little bit of industry here with the nut. I did a sliding knot. And if you wanted to, you could wear these together. I don't know if I really would or not because I think each one is a statement piece. Um, but I like the way they turned out. They're very interesting. And uh, I think they're a conversation piece. What do you think? <laughs> do you like the steampunk look? Or do you think it's a little odd? I do think it's odd, but I think it's a good odd. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me today. And go check out all the other participants. The hashtag is Pirate Pretties Jewelry Challenge. And when you use that, everybody that is participating will pop up. So go check them out. And y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.